And here we are on the road to the beach, a secret beach alongside the wall of our place with a nice young man here. And we're going to talk about your Filipina and living in her culture and how important that is. And we're going to talk to Chrissy about this. Hello. He's excited to be in the video, I can see. So a Filipina living in her culture, how important is it? I believe it's extremely important. I feel that it's almost a sliding scale from how young your Filipina is to how much time you need to spend in the Philippines with your Filipina before taking her to your country. Technology has afforded us quite a bit of advantages. And with that, there have come some downsides that we've tended to just gloss over. And I think one thing that we're glossing over in a lot of these ways to meet people online and develop relationships is how important it is to understand the culture that they live in and to not just swoop in meet them on the internet, think everything's gonna be wonderful, take them to your country, <laughs> and then realize that you don't fully understand that person and that person doesn't fully understand you. So I am of the belief that it is extremely important to invest in your relationship in ways that are maybe not so conventional by going and living in that woman's culture for a year or more before you bring them back to your home country. So obviously we're men here looking for women, typically online. That's typically what my channel is. And if you're the 20% of women that watch this channel, Maybe you can chime in with your opinion. But typically, we're older, a little bit more mature people with a larger life experience than the partner that we're searching for. And that would be true in my case, Chrissy. Now, I absolutely believe that it would be about the time that I'm in my relationship about right now, four years into it, three and a half years into marriage, that I can honestly say I'm finally comfortable with the thought of her and I moving to the United States. And I'd never felt that way until about six months ago. Um, Chrissy being so young really needed to mature. Uh, and build confidence in our relationship. Not so much as she needed to mature. <laughs> I also had to mature too, but build some confidence in our relationship, some grounding. And so maybe it's not so much about you understanding the, the culture, although that was kind of what I went into this video thinking about, so much as being able to cement that um, familiarity and foundation of your relationship before you throw in a complete other stress factor of moving across the world with someone who is relatively young and, young and inexperienced without building the proper foundation. So I implore you, those who find themselves in a potential relationship together, uh, to spend some time in your girlfriend and your wife's culture and lay that ground foundation of security and understanding that you can only do by living there. I've always found it really difficult to get all the vitamins and nutrients that I need for my body. And my health was starting to go in the wrong direction until I started enjoying AG1 every morning. It's part of my morning routine. It has 75 whole food sourced ingredients. I'm sure many of you guys are looking at me today, say, hey Tim, your complexion's cleared up. You're looking better than ever. I can tell you I'm feeling better than ever. I highly recommend the whole food sourced AG1. It's really easy to make a part of your routine.
it's just too easy to get started with your daily AG1 micro habit. 12 ounces of water into your shaker bottle, into your AG1 nutritional drink. And if you forget later in the day, you missed your morning habit, AG1 has comprehensive daily nutrition packets. I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, AG1, but more importantly for supplying me over the last few months with an incredible nutritional beverage that's been helping me with my immunity my aging as I get older to fill in the gaps. Yes, I'm getting into that late 40s period of my life and I still wanna look and feel great. And AG1 assists a lot with that. I'm sure many of you are in the same boat as me on that one. So get one year free of vitamin D3K2 included with five free travel packs by clicking the link in the description or the pinned comment and get started with me on our AG1 journey today. Um, you know, I've, I've essentially only lived two places out of, the, out of the United States. I was in Iraq, Iraq, but I don't count that. It was kind of like living in the United States in some ways because I was in a bubble and I never really lived in the culture. Um, and very, very few American soldiers did. That being said, I have lived in Russia for a year, and I kind of think of my, my time in that as being beneficial because it, it reinforces some of the things that I've also learned here in the Philippines, and they're completely directly related. Where both in the Philippines and in Russia, there were, there were things that I, I had beliefs on in short trips that became completely different understandings once I'd lived in a place for the, the, a year. And so my understanding of that culture became much deeper than the short trips. Now, obviously we can only do what we can do. And for a lot of people, it is completely implausible to go and live overseas and uproot yourself. And um, what I would say to that is I understand, you know, I didn't always have this kind of life where I could do that, so I definitely understand the the working man who is tied to the job uh, of being there every day and can't necessarily just jump out there and go to a foreign country and live there for a year. But I would say this, guys. I would say that think about all the things you invest in in your life. Career, property, other investments. Think about the effort and what you're willing to do to invest into those things, but yet you're not willing to invest in doing things the right way when it comes to a potential marriage relationship that really affects all those other things that we're talking about. So anyway, we're gonna talk to Chrissy. We're gonna get a little bit of her opinion on what she thinks about when did she truly feel ready to make a move with me and was it beneficial? Did she see growth in me spending time in the Philippines and laying the foundation for our relationship? So guys, let's see what Chrissy thinks. All right, we're here to pick up Chrissy from the gym. There she is. Hey! What the heck? Why did you suddenly stop? I took the car. Broke down? You thought this glorious car would break down? Yeah, because you, you suddenly stopped. How are you? How are you? <laughs> finally, Tim. I finally, finally brought my wife's tumbler. I finally listened to her and did what she said she's gonna do. Yeah, I had been telling you for like three days. And you always forget it. So I'm in the middle of a video, Chrissy. Okay. And I have a question for you. What is it? Do you think you would have been ready to leave if right after we got married and come to the US? I don't think so, no. 
Why not? I wasn't like prepared still. Even now, I mean now, maybe sure, yeah. But now, maybe sure, yeah. But before, no. Why not? You, you mean you couldn't you couldn't just marry a guy and up and leave? No, that's not. I just it's just that that's not how I am, Timoy. I still when we get married, I was still young and it seems like I still like need my my parents' help, like asking them help all the time. Remember, I I often call my parents, especially my mom. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Absolutely. No, That's I'm, just, I'm, I'm just letting you talk. I think yeah, you're, I'm just you're trying going to on. say that I was not ready to leave. But now, yeah, sure. Wow. Wow. Don't you guys see how Chrissy and I are <laughs> completely in tune with each other? Despite what the headlines say, <laughs> I feel like I had a very, I feel like I knew, we didn't talk about this. So I feel like uh, we have a very similar thinking on this. So it was really more about you than me about leaving. Yeah, 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 yeah. But sure. but now you feel like you're you're yeah. kind of you could sure. be kind of ready. Yeah, so, I'm getting more <clears throat> independent, Char. So when do you think that when did that change? How long ago did you think that you were ready? I think when like one and a half year ago. A year and a half ago? Yeah. You know when I I was talking what to the video earlier? Uh -uh. I said 6 months ago. I said okay. I don't think it was until like 6 months ago. Maybe he, maybe you're right or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, Timoy. No, I mean it's just a it's a pretty similar opinion. I'm I'm just saying that you and I were both more ready now. Yeah. than ever to to make a decision to leave even though that's not our something that we're necessarily thinking about yeah you're ready just like you're ready to pump some iron <laughs> <laughs> you're finally ready to leave the philippines <laughs> so you guys after all this time it is true it is very difficult to take a family girl and just rip her out of her community her family, her life, and just take her. So the cautionary tale that I have in this for you guys is that the woman that can do this is either going to be older or she's going to be running away from something possibly damaged and trying to run to some sort of security. But if you find someone who is really grounded like Chrissy and solid with their family as being their rock, they're not going to want to leave immediately. That's all that I'm saying. You agree with me? Yeah, sure. You ready to pump some iron? But I'm a little bit, um, what do you call this? <laughs> you didn't replace the water. What? What? The water has been here for probably... No, it's fresh water. I just put it in. Really? Yeah, I just put it in the house. But there's no ice. I have some ice in mine. Okay, do you mind? Did you put some creatine? Hey, we're doing a video here. Okay. Wow, what a great end to the video. But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on how to successfully rip away a quality woman from her family. This is how you do it. It takes some time. You got to stay in the area. And uh, and then after some time, a good quality girl will want to leave with you. Isn't that right, Chrissy? <laughs> good quality girl. You like my bag, Chrissy? Yeah, I got it for you. Do you like <laughs> By get it for you, do you mean Did you buy it? Did you give me yeah. money? Yeah, I did, yesterday Chrissy gave me money for this bag <laughs> What do you think? Yeah, it's nice I'm glad that it's How does big. it look on me? Right you ready? Pump it up Remember your 16th birthday? My sweet 16th birthday? Is that what we're celebrating here? Yeah. 
Are you gonna swim, buddy? We have Hannah with Chrissy's sister. So I asked Chrissy the same question. Okay. So you've been married for how long now? Um, seven months. Seven months? Yeah. So the day that you got married, were you ready at that point to leave with Jagger and go to the United States? Um, I was ready to be with him, but in the United States? Yeah. Um, like up and move the day you got married. Maybe let's do seventy percent. <laughs> so you needed more time. Yeah, that's why we're staying here longer. So you feel better about things now. Yeah, I'm okay coming there in the U.S. with him because I get to know him even more. So you're getting more and more confident. Yeah, because I know him and I know he's gonna take care of me. He's a good man. <laughs> See, guys, you can't just take a family girl <laughs> and steal her from her family. The moment that you meet her, even at marriage, you gotta spend some time here. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and we're here at a beautiful day. Hannah's been wonderful. <laughs> Getting all the food for everybody. <laughs> Look at that life he has now, wow. <laughs>